are still uh, many cases where we cannot find autoantibodies uh, and where uh, patients are suspected to have an autoimmune cause and where we cannot find autoantibodies. This might be due to uh, the insensitivity of the assays to uh, detect those antibodies. So there uh, is uh, maybe a need for more sensitive assays and it is also believed that a proportion of the seronegative myasthenia gravis patients so a patient where we cannot detect autoantibodies that a proportion of these patients might have a congenital uh, uh, cause a genetic cause rather than an autoimmune cause future studies should shed more uh, try to shed more light into the underlying mechanisms of this uh, so, uh, so-called seronegative myasthenia gravis patients, as these uh, patients constitute uh, for about ten percent of the of the total population, and um, and the underlying cause has not well been established yet. So, and, uh, there should definitely be more research into this into this topic.